Hey everyone, Easter Sunday is soon upon us. This week we'll be making a green bean casserole that will have your friends and families asking for seconds. Before we get started, you'll need a few things. Green beans, sliced almonds, minced garlic, chicken broth, onions, bacon, butter, salt, sage, and thyme. You'll also need a small cast iron skillet and a large stainless steel pan. Okay, let's get started. We'll begin with our green beans. We're gonna wanna trim off the edges and then we're gonna wanna bring some water to a boil. We'll cook these for 10 to 12 minutes and then once they've been cooked, we'll transfer them to a large bowl with ice cold water. Next, you'll add the butter to a large saucepan and you'll let the butter melt over very low heat. Once our butter is melted, we'll bring up the heat to medium high and add in our onions, garlic, salt, sage, and thyme. We'll cook the onions until they become translucent. While the onions cook, we'll preheat our small iron skillet so that we can cook our bacon. Once the small cast iron skillet gets really hot, we can add in our bacon. After our onions have reduced and become translucent, we're gonna to wanna to lower the heat so that we can continue to cook them and they can caramelize. You'll know your onions are ready once you notice that your chicken broth starts to simmer and brown inside of a large saucepan. Your bacon will cook really fast, maybe like five minutes. You don't wanna crisp it too much. Remove the bacon from the small cast iron skillet and set aside. Now we'll cook our sliced almonds. In the same cast iron skillet that we cooked our bacon, we'll toss in our sliced almonds and cook them very quickly. Just a few seconds. All we really want to do is just toast them a bit. Now that we've got our caramelized onions, our bacon, and our toasted almonds, we can start to build our casserole. You're going to want to throw in all of the cooked green beans into the large saucepan and mix in the caramelized onions well. Once you've mixed in all of the caramelized onions into the green beans, we can then add our bacon. Finally, we can add in the toasted almonds. After you've mixed in all of your ingredients into your saucepan, you're gonna to wanna to transfer your veggies into a baking dish. And here's what it looks like, delicious. I hope you enjoyed my green bean casserole that I'll be serving on Easter Sunday.